Indeed, Erica, as you well know, Chicago aldermen have traditionally ruled their wards with absolute authority over licenses and permits and zoning. That's a tradition that Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot wants to end, and not surprisingly, she's gotten resistance from some Chicago aldermen. As they made their way to Mayor-elect Lori Lightfoot's transition headquarters, Chicago's kings and queens of the wards were expecting something almost like an overthrow. Aldermen, right now, we are there are 50 czars. Um, and that's, that's, that doesn't exist in other cities across this country. Uh, we have to change that. Lightfoot's first executive order, coming on Monday, will strike at aldermanic privilege, but it won't completely wipe it out. My understanding is that it actually does not touch zoning. That the executive order we are going to see is going to relate very much more specifically to permitting and licensing issues. And some view that prospect with relief. There's some things that I'd be willing to, like, you know, give away as far as, you know, awnings and all that little piddly stuff. That is, giving the final say over things like alley access, signs, and block parties to City Hall. But there's no more fear that they're going to be extorted. There's no more fear uh, that they're going to be arbitrarily rejected by the aldermen simply because they didn't write the right campaign check. That is exactly what the feds say Alderman Ed Burke did when he allegedly tried to squeeze business for his law firm out of a fast food chain after a restaurant wanted a renovation permit. Still, other aldermen insisted even losing control over licenses and permits was a slap in the face. This strikes at the very heart of what an alderman does in terms of representing their community. Mayor-elect Lightfoot wants to establish uniform standards and practices for licenses and permits across the city. Then, if an alderman wants to deny one in his ward, that denial will have to fit specific criteria as well. We're live outside City Hall. Derek Blakely, CBS2 News. Brad and Erica. Derek, thank you.